Hello, how are you people? Uh, Brittany here already, I'm excited. She here, she here, we're gonna have a good time. So uh, I hope you guys have been having a great week. If you guys wanna come and talk to Brittany, there's already people waiting to talk to her. So I advise you to come now because uh, it's gonna be a packed show because she's awesome. And I think you guys are gonna like her. So if you wanna come, come now. All right. Well, so how you do it, you send me an email at medimonaco1 at gmail.com or you just click the link that's in the description of this video and you can just slide in. Yes. Pause. But you, you can do that. Um, so, all right. Let me say hello and then we're going to go uh, talk to Brittany. Let me see who is here. Can they change? Hello. Brenda, what's up? Setaris, uh, Dress Universe. EVS Posley, hello, Isaiah Taylor, uh, Miguel Robinson, DR334, Chemistry is here, Lucas, Xavier, Zanes, hello, uh, Litmo, Savage, Ultimate, uh, Brenda, uh, I said Brenda already, probably, uh, Woody Wood Dumman, hello, Patrick Black One, Cringer, DC, Staris, everybody. Hello, Cranking232, Drena Tactical. Hello, I appreciate you all for being here on time, bright and early. So we're going to go she here, so I'm like, there is no need for me to keep on talking. Hello, everybody. Let's go to Brittany. Hey, girl. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How was your day? Oh, my gosh. I haven't been asleep. It's just been a really <laughs> You've been sleep? I haven't been to sleep. Oh, you I went haven't? To work yesterday, then I went out for a friend's birthday, and everybody came to my place, and then I've just been up. So it's been a day. Tired. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, hopefully you have enough energy for us. I do. I have my wine. It's like my Red Bull. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Don't get too drunk because wine makes me sleepy. So I wouldn't be on wine if I was tired. But <laughs> it's okay. okay. All right. So, all right. Do, would you like to tell us about you? Guys, uh, I don't know if you guys recognize her. She changed her hair. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, it was a year ago that we had you, more than a year. Yeah. So, um, would you like to introduce yourself so people know uh, what you, uh, who you are and just for them to know if you're their cup of tea? Yeah. Okay. Well, my name is Brittany. I am 35 years old. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I um, work in a nightclub. I'm a hookah manager for one of the biggest nightclubs in Atlanta. Um, so my hours are not typical. I work from 6 p.m. typically to, no, 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. normally. So I sleep during the day and I'm up at night. So I know that's an issue for some, you know, in relationships, but, mm -hmm. you know, it can work out. What time you wake up when you come back from the club? I wake up, so we close at six and I usually come home around eight because I'll go stop and get something to eat or I might go grocery shopping because I'm up. Mm -hmm. um, and then I normally wake up around two or three in the afternoon. <laughs> hey, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I, I mean, me too, you know, I was working at the club, but um, it would be done at three or four, not fucking six going home at eight. No. Yeah. We do after hours. So after hours is from three to six. So it's like, it's a thing here. That's wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. So uh, when you are up, <laughs> what do you do <laughs> besides working? Oh my gosh. Um, I work out. That's one of my favorite pastimes. And that's really about it. I I try to get my workout in. I sleep. Um, and I go to work. Okay. <laughs> Pretty boring, but that's my life. That's your life. All yeah. Right. Uh, guys, this is our IG. If you need to go check her out, that's the IG. Uh, so, so, okay. So, you are still single after a year of being on the show. I am. Did you, that's funny. I, I never do that, but I'm like, so did you get anybody from the show that you talked to? Met I do. There's one guy, He he's from Chicago. I met him on your show and we still talk to this day. 
I mean, like as friends, I've never met him before, but okay, okay, yeah, all right. Um, so tell us about what you want, what you're looking for, since you are still single. Oh my god, what, what do we need? What does he need? I want someone who is secure because I work in nightlife, so a lot of people or a lot of men are not too fond of that, having their girl working in nightlife. Um, so I do need someone that's secure, someone who is fun, outgoing, caring, someone who does want a family because I do want a family. Um, um, when it comes to guys already having kids, I'm not really picky about if they have kids or if they don't have kids. Mm -hmm. um, and someone who's smart, intelligent, just, you know, a regular guy. Like, I'm not looking for anything too spectacular. <laughs> okay, tell us some of his um, characteristics, like mental. Like, what, what are some of the traits that you really like in a man? Um, I like a man who listens, someone who pays attention to detail, um, someone who is God-fearing, um, patient, I feel like even as a generation, I just feel like we aren't patient enough with each other. I feel like when people get into relationships, if one thing goes wrong, they're ready to throw it all away. I feel like you have to be patient in a relationship. So that's very important to me. Um, what else? I don't know. Oh, I, 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 I am five, eight and a half. So I would want someone who's kind of tall, taller than me. So yeah. our authorities is, is not going to work. So wait, five nine, we're good or no? Five nine is pushing it. <laughs> so what? Five ten? Five ten is cool. I would prefer you be six, six. feet in a yeah. Okay, okay. Right. Okay. So but five ten, we're okay. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. So five ten and up. Mm -hmm. Uh what's the age range? Um I'm thirty five. I'll say 30. 30? Uh, yeah. What's the oldest? Um, I don't really have a cap on how old they can be. <laughs> so I mean, I don't want anybody that's 60. But so there is a cap. <laughs> I, I, I guess there is a cap. Okay. Um, 45? So 30 to 45. Listen, I don't want somebody who is 60 and then you go to 45. Yeah, I guess. Okay, so 30 to 45. Yeah. Okay, what, uh, what's your ethnicity of uh, preference? Um, African-American. Do you? Or I'm not really picky when it comes to that, but I mean, I would prefer Afri African-American. Okay, do you do white, Latinos? I've never dated outside of my race. Actually. Okay. I'm open to it though. Okay. Uh, how much money does he need to make? You know what? <laughs> money is like it's a it's a big deal, but it's not a big deal because I need him to make enough money to take care of him first. Mm -hmm. If he can take care of himself, then that's a plus. And then we can work on us taking care of each other. Cause I feel like men, they are providers, but they shouldn't be solely used for their money. So mm -hmm. if I had to give a number, I would say at least 60, 70, at least. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's reasonable. Yeah. Like a regular nine to five typical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Since you're talking about nine to five, would you do you mind if he if he's a, a guy that works a nine to five, or would you prefer an entrepreneur? What is there a preference there? Um, I I don't have a preference. Of course, someone who is an entrepreneur would probably fit my lifestyle right now a mm -hmm. little bit more comfortably. But I'm not against dating someone who has a nine to five. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. Uh, I think I think we talked about everything that you might need. Yeah. Right. Uh, and you say you're okay with kids, with him having kids. Yes. Okay. 
All right. So I think I think we we got enough. If anything comes up or in conversation, you, you'll tell them what you like. Okay. So uh, just to remind you the rules, because we have some extra rules now. Uh, I'm going to bring a man at a time. You can talk to him asking questions. If you're not feeling the vibe, the romantic vibe, you say pineapple and we move on to the next guy. So the new rule that I don't think you experienced before was the chat can participate in who you're talking to. So if uh, they send a 20, you're talking to a guy, they send a $20 uh, super chat and that's called the instant pineapple. So they would pineapple the guy for you. Oh my goodness. They feel like the guy comes to the show too much or he's not the right dude for you or somebody want to talk to you and you know, whatever they want to do, they're going to send the the $20. And uh, the only thing they can come back, whoever got pineapple by the chat can come back. Whoever gets pineapple by you is not supposed to come back. Okay. Okay. Cause you might like him and the chat is like, nah, so he got to be able to come back. Right? Okay. All right, so so that's it. That's all for the rules. Uh, all right, so the the room is pretty full. So guys, if you're trying to get in, you're gonna try to you're gonna have to press the button a lot tonight because it's uh, ten minutes in. The room is full. They're liking you already. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> why somebody say she looks like she can dunk? I play basketball. <laughs> ah, so that's it. I can dunk <laughs> if I try. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna st uh, start. Okay. We have um, Zay. Hi, Zay. Oh, Zay, your camera not working. Guys, please come with the camera and with uh, some light. Oh, I think he's back. Yes, he's back. Hey, Zay. Sir? We can't hear you. Come back in. Yep. Uh, Azazel? Hello. Hey, what's going on? Hi. How you doing? You look nice tonight. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the colors go with uh, the Brazil nation, so you look kind of exotic right now. Oh, well, thank you. I'll take yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can start traveling, right? Oh, you just jump right into it. <laughs> Why not? Where are we going? I, I don't want to waste time. We should do something that has like um, like a garden somewhere. Okay. And a beach. So you wake up to the beach, go to the garden, mm -hmm. and then chill and relax back at the beach at night. You sound like you've done this before. <laughs> a couple of times. Okay. What about you? <laughs> um, I don't know if I've been to the beach and back to the garden, but I love the beach, though. That's like one of my favorite places to go is to the beach. Best vacation for me. Mm -hmm. Get to chill, play music. Sleep. You sleep at the beach? I can't oh, sleep at the beach. Yeah. It's like that's the best sleep in the world, like listening to the waves. Well, yeah, that for sure. It's the best. Yeah. So, how do you pronounce your name? I don't want to mispronounce it. Um, it's it, it can go two ways. You can call it Azel or Azel. Okay. Azel. Yeah. Like it's a name that's open to interpretations of plenty. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. So, so what? What are you looking for? I'm sorry, I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I'm still gonna say Azazel. I'm probably off. Azel. But, <laughs> Azel? Yeah, Azel. Yeah. Yeah. My bad. So, Azel, what are you looking for in your woman? I'm looking for a woman who's respectable and mature. Those are the main two things. If you can do one of those two things, I mean, both of those two things, we're good. That's what did you? What's respectable in your in your mind? Respectable is a girl who knows how to treat herself and treat someone else. You know, it goes back to that golden rule from childhood. Like, you know, you want to treat others how you like to be treated. So I feel like if a girl I, I meet can treat me very well, it's probably because she treats herself very well. Okay. Understandable. Yeah, but I, I don't have a mouthful for you tonight. Just that's it. I want to get to meet you like really briefly. Well, thank you. How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm 32. Okay. Yeah. And how tall are you? 6'5. Oh, listen. There we go. Yeah. Yes, you early. We play with it early. Huh? You play sports? I don't. I do not play sports. I don't even like to play around in real life, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you mean you don't like to play around? You know what I'm saying? Like games and stuff. I'm I'm not a player. Like that was when I was a kid, but I, you know, I'm just just different. Things are different. I like to be serious, be, you know, responsible. So what do you do for fun? <laughs> Nothing. For fun? Yeah. I talk to women. That's why I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so how many girls do oh. you have on your roster right now? On my roster? Yeah. I can't tell you that, but I can tell you that I have a roster um, uh, for those who need to know. So you can't tell me the number, but you got one. You got a roster. I can't tell you. You it's just not, said you do have a roster. It's not, it's not healthy. Well, somebody decided, yes, it's right. It's not healthy. You got to go. Uh, guess who's back? Grayson is back with the $20 better lighting. Okay. Uh, what did you think? Because I, I thought you liked him until he started talking about um... <laughs> his roster. Why would you say that? I mean, I, I like when men are honest, but I feel like it was way too soon for him to be like that. Talking about a roster. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know why he decided to tell us that. Yeah, and he then he said he likes to be serious. I like to have fun. <laughs> I like to laugh. <laughs> yeah, like, I want somebody that, that's going to make me laugh. So, yeah, we're going to pass on him. Pineapples. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he's gone already. Yeah. Uh, Josh, uh, thank you for the two dollar super chat talking about forget all of them. Come here, Brittany. No, you gotta come to her tonight, sir. She's here. You come to her. <laughs> all right, let's see. We got Trevor. Hi, What's Trevor. going on? Hey, Trevor. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. Listen, let me go ahead, like, clear the way right now. You, you sound like you the bomb. I loved everything you had to say. But as soon as you said you had a height preference, I felt shorter than I already am. Mm. Um, How tall are you? I'm five foot seven. I'm so sorry. And I'm in Atlanta, too. It broke my heart. Brittany, you can't that you can do a little shorter than you. No, it's no. A li that's a little shorter than you. But the thing is, I like like when I wear heels. That's um, OK. I'm That's towering okay. over you. Mm -hmm. I'm looking and, over your head. And listen, like God towers over all of us, and He still loves us, right? Ooh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want I want you to kiss me on my forehead. I, don't I will I will get forehead. on my tippy toes, and I'm listen. I got you. I got you. <laughs> oh my goodness! I it's the height thing. It's I just know. something I've compromised on it before. And I, I don't want to compromise on it again. It's just was like, it him or was it you? He was shorter than me. No, I mean, I know he was shorter than you, but did he have a problem with you being taller? Oh, of course not. Taller? No. Okay. He didn't have a problem with it. Okay. Yeah. Some it's, men have a Napoleonic complex. That's why I asked. Yeah, it was just, and it wasn't bad. It's just something that I don't want. I'm sorry. I know, Trevor. You're so sweet. I know. I mean, listen, thank you for having me. It's been, it's been great. Thank you. I hope you find everything you're looking for. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Yo, no, we, we got to talk. I've dated a dude that was 5'5", five five and he was awesome. Awesome. And I'm like, I can't. I can't miss out on a good dude just because of the height. The height shouldn't be enough. Imagine he has everything you want. He want kids. He got no kids. He's in Atlanta. Got good personality, it seems. You're like, still, no. You can't do it. I, I wouldn't want to. It would bother me. Sorry. It's just one of those things. That's just one of the things that, I, like I said, I've compromised on it before, and I don't want to do it again. Okay. Mm. What happened with that dude? Um, we were together for about four years, and I liked him. Mm -hmm. But like <laughs> I, when I met him, I was looking over his head, like I could see over his head. 
And I didn't like that. And then it kind of like, you know, after we talked and I fell for him, then the height, you know, it didn't matter. But mm -hmm. I just prefer a bigger man. Like, I want to feel small. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going we're gonna to try to find him. Okay. Let's see if Zay get it working. Zay, is it working now? Yeah, it's working. Hello. Yes. Hi, Zay. How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Where are you? Uh, so I'm at a hospital right now, but oh. uh, I'm here visiting my sister. She's got situations going. Oh, I hope she's okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. good. How y'all doing today? I'm doing good. Tired, yes. but I'm still going. Tired. What did What did you do? Oh, you said that you was. See, I have that same thing though. Like I can't sleep at night. It makes me stay up all day. I have that same thing. So I feel like that'd be cool. But um, I'm not really here to like to talk to either of you, right? I just wanted to try it. I saw the the link on. No, sir. We're not here Zay, to try shit. The link works. What? First of all, you're at the hospital. Your sister, you shouldn't even be on here. You should be. Why are you trying? No, no. Yes, like him say, boy, bye. Yeah, you gotta go. All right, let's see who else we got. We got um, Chandler. Hi, Chandler. Chandler. You're getting dressed? Huh? I'm getting dressed, bro. I'm getting dressed. <laughs> so this, why this is what I want to say. I, I Y'all saw the last two guys that came on here. Why are men so weird? Why are y'all so weird? Why would you click the link if you're getting dressed? It doesn't make sense. Maybe he wanted to secure a spot because he knew, you know, it would be a line to talk to you. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting dressed. I'm getting dressed. Okay, next. Yes. We got Darren. Hi, Darren. Darren. Hi. 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 Hey, Darren. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Can I take you out on the day? We got to see. Can you hear me? This conversation, that's how you still this. See, um, how, old how, how old are you? I'm 35. Oh. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 29. Ooh. And I got good vibes. You you right below the gun line. <laughs> See, I think you like that. You right below I the gun line. I, I can treat you like that. I can treat you like a right lady. Who who is who is speaking for you? Say, I want to see you in person. I want to see you in person. Who, I'm trying to get one. Who's with you, Darren? Simon Pinnell. Don't say my government name. So I, I would have to talk to you and Simon because Simon is telling you what to say. So if I date nah, you, I would have to date Simon as well. It was nice talking to you. I love you. I love you. All right. Love you too. <laughs> No, you have too oh much patience. You need to say pineapple. I'm trying to figure out who is talking. I'm like, I can hear somebody else talking. Yeah, for sure. Somebody is studying him. But, mm -mm. <sighs> okay. All right. We'll we got sure. Let's see. Okay. Avery, you're here? Avery. No? Okay. Hello, sir. No? No, you don't want to talk? Okay. Hello. Hey. Hi. Dad, what's so funny? <laughs> How you said hello, I guess. How y'all doing tonight, man? What's up? We're good. What are you doing? Me? I'm talking to you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that special. Why do so you have headphones in? Oh, oh, so I can hear you. I'm listen through my PC and stuff. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you work out for like a living, right? You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I work out for fun. For fun, what's your drive to working out? Like, what's your passion? Why you? Why do you work out? Um, I've always been an athlete. I played basketball from the time I was ten up until I was twenty-two. Mm. So it's kind of like a lifestyle thing. A lifestyle thing. What's your favorite? What's your favorite workouts to do? Um, leg day. Leg day. Mm-hmm. For, walk me through like a walk me through a leg day of yours. You know what I'm saying? Give me like a like a little little little. Bye. You know, Deadlifts, lunges, hip thrust, leg extension, leg press, um, leg curls. Damn. Cat so, curls. like, they did a study at Yale, right? Was talking about, like, they, like, took these, they took, like, 10 women and, like, did, like, a study on how, like, you know, the a- activity. So, is it, like, true, like, women that work out a lot, like, more hornier? More like, women? Like, more hornier. Like, women that work out a lot, like, are. Are y'all like I don't, like, know. I don't know. Uh, oh, you don't. I mean, you worked out last night. They did that. Like they did that study at Yale. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was interested. In I, that's, I, that's where you get that information from? It was a Yale. You know, they did a study on Yale. Was, they, they typed it all up and all that stuff. That's where it came from. They put like ten people in the control. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it might be true though. I don't know if he was lying or not. It might be true. But the fact that he hits you with that, I'm like, really? Like, that's, that's what you want to talk about? Okay. Yeah, you want to know what your stamina is. Like, are you going to want to give it up or no? You know? Right. Like, are you going to take a lot or not? Maybe you cannot take a lot. You know, we don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they say- I, don't, I don't really think um, working out has anything to do with your libido or maybe it does i don't know i don't know maybe you your stamina has more energy yeah your stamina will increase but mm-hmm. um i never heard of that i think he made it up i, I don't know <laughs> I think right, made we, it up. For you. we got cedric the great hello oh, oh i thought that said Brittany renner pineapples <laughs> Guys are so annoying. Do y'all see why I'm single? Do y'all see why I'm single? It's not hard to see why I'm single. <laughs> we got we got more. I got Safari. Hello. Hey, we can't hear you, Safari. Up here now. Yes. Take my headphones off. Okay. Uh, you guys can hear me? Yeah, she's got yeah. it. Okay, I said she's pretty. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Brittany, that's a white name, though. Like, Hi, Nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you're really not trying tonight. Really? That's a, he said that's a white name? Really? I mean, it is English, but like, that's, that's <laughs> all you have for me. Okay. All right. All right let's see. Chandler is dressed now. Okay. Hello. What's up? What's good? Nothing much. How are you? I'm trying to figure out life. Huh? What's going on? Figure out life. Why it's so dark over there? I ain't light now. Yeah. What you got going? <laughs> I'm on the show trying to find a man. <laughs> you on the show a man? She, you want to be friend? <laughs> Pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, come on. What's the thing? They be complaining about all the, sometimes the quality of the women I bring is not good. You are good. And they still come with the bullshit. So I'm like, what is it? What do you guys need? All right, um, let's see. We we got more. I got Prince and Jadaka. Hello. Hello. Uh, you look very beautiful today. How Thank are you? Great. I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, I just love African woman. Have you ever been with an African man that's a superhero? I'm a superhero. Pineapples. 
<laughs> not doing it. We don't need a superhero. Um, all right, let's see. Misel? What's going on? Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. What about you? Good, thank you. Where y'all calling from? I'm from Atlanta. Oh, okay, I'm in Birmingham. Okay, Alabama. What you looking for in a dude? Um, did you miss that part? Yeah, I, I just I, I just jumped in, you know. We I'm gonna do pineapples. Okay. It, it was the glasses. The somebody said he looked like Flavor Flav. He did. He gave me Flavor Flav vibes. Yes. Mm-mm. Okay, so tell me. Um, if you and a guy, you talk to a guy for a little while and uh, you guys decide to move into a new apartment together, mm-hmm. who pays the rent? Um, I feel like it depends on our salaries. Okay. I so, feel like if, if I make way more money than he does, then maybe I pay more than he pays. Because I feel like we we could split it, but if it's gonna put him in a situation where, or if it's not gonna hurt me to pay more, then I'll pay more. I guess. Okay. I'm just an independent. I'm not one of those women who are like, oh, I need to be taken care of. I'm not that girl. So, um, if he's not able to either pay the full rent and be comfortable, or pay half the rent and be comfortable then we would just have to work it out, you know? Okay, shit. Okay, that's... Uh, I don't think we've heard that on the show in 160 <laughs> episodes, so... Okay, shit. Uh, guys, when I tell you, you need to come today to get Britney, you guys playing with me. Uh, but yeah, come get her. All right, we got uh, Finesse. Hi, Finesse. Mm. Finesse your internet messing up a little bit. Come back. Uh, Phil? Phil? Phil! <laughs> Yo, how you get at this? <laughs> What's up? Do you see us? Yes, yeah, you all. Y'all see me? <laughs> Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh shit, this shit worked. My fault. Oh, what, what up, Brit- what up, what up, what up, Brittany? What up, what up, Melly? What's up? Move a little bit. Your face is cut off. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Right. Hold on. Feel you together. <laughs> What's going on? It's not that difficult. No, because all right, there we go. Yes. There we go. Hey, so I, I didn't know this was going to work. But, uh, hey, you're pretty, Brittany. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Never been. Never been. I, gotta, I, gotta go. I, I got people out there that always tell me to go out there, but I got to. Where are you? Connecticut. Deep. East. I don't think I've ever been there before. Ain't nothing out here. You don't want to come out here. Except for the casinos. Mm, I don't gamble. Not me neither. So why are you still over there? Huh? Why are you still over there? My daughter. Okay. How old is yeah. she? Seven. Okay. She's seven. Yeah, so I got to I gotta be close to her. I don't know how people can be far away from their kids. I can't do it. I like that. But I live in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Not at all. Um, okay, who is that? Aiden? Yeah. Sir, so, we talked to you already. We talked to you. Change his name and all. Uh they're asking if you like Caribbean food. I love Caribbean food. 
Uh, all right, let's see. I don't know who this person is. Oh, no. <laughs> Melissa has been. I, I doubt it, but okay. okay. I got finesse. Did finesse? Finesse, come on, work it out. I don't think his internet is trying. Finesse, what type of in, uh, internet you got? It's not working for you. Hello. <laughs> George Bush does not care about black people. <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on. You guys, see, that's why I shouldn't bring you good ladies. I should bring you, you know, the one that you guys don't like. I cap over his face. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> 2024. We out here. What's I going on? Yay, 2024. Oh, yeah. why, do want, why do you want to be weird? Why is this weird? Y'all see me every day. This is how I look when I step out. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad I got my wine today. Cause <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. It's uh, it's pretty bad, guys. What, what's going on? Somebody got to tell me. But that's why I don't want to bring good ladies, because then they they see what what I bring and they're like, "You playing with me or what?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, <laughs> I'm not playing with you." I try. I, I just some people on. would show up. I I be trying. Okay, we we got we got some somebody else. Okay. D block. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, ladies? <laughs> Okay, hey, D-Block. Wait, can you turn off what you're watching? Oh, hold on one sec. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to come in and say hi. What's up, Brittany? Yeah. How are you? Jamaican food, you know? Are you Jamaican? Yeah, Jamaican background for sure. Okay. Yeah. I love Jamaican food. Yeah. Where are you located, in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, I haven't been, but I want to go soon. Where do you Where do you live? New York. Okay. Yeah, BK. Nice. Mm -hmm. New York is. I just it's too crowded there for me. <laughs> I've been a couple times, but I just every time I go, it's just like I just feel like it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's here. Nice. You get to meet different people, eat different kind of cuisine. You know. You guys can hear me, right? A little bit. It's a <laughs> little Yeah, so the yeah. you know, a lot of different cultures here. You know? Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what makes it great. Um so yeah, uh you said you play you used to play ball or whatever. Yeah, used to play too. So we gotta play one on one. Oh gosh. Mm -hmm. Why does everybody wanna play? <laughs> I don't wanna play. I don't wanna pull my hamstring, I don't wanna twist my ankle. <laughs> None of that. Yeah. You can play Dave and Busters. <laughs> <laughs> but go. not on the real court. Yeah, that's so fun, you know. But well, actually, I just wanted to, you know, connect. I'm, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm six nine, so, you know, hope you can handle all that height. Okay. <laughs> all right, six nine. So, D block. What are you looking for in your woman? Uh, you know, just a woman that knows how to treat a man. Um and. uh you know, have some fun. You know. So when was when was your last relationship? Been a minute. I'd say like a year, year and a half. About that. Mm, yeah. Really what about you? Uh, it ended in twenty seventeen. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. So it's been a minute. Yeah. So you've been reserved. What do you mean by reserved? Like it's kind of chilling. Oh, you've been in a date. You've been dating, you know. Um, I dated a little bit, but I'm very picky. So what, what, it takes what, me a while to actually find somebody that I like. And then... So what do you like? What's two things you like? I like someone who is 
who can make me laugh. Oops, sorry. And, um, I thought she left the chat. <laughs> like, right. what? Did he pineapple me? <laughs> um, I wouldn't do that. I like to, someone who makes me laugh mm -hmm. and someone who's outgoing. Like, I like to travel. Um, yeah, that's like. Uh -oh. uh, he got pineapple by the chat. Uh, Grayson, what is that? A curtain in the background. Make sure background lighting is on point. Okay. Well, uh, Grayson is uh, tough tonight. Yeah, you're aggressive. You got to come perfect, I guess. Uh, we got Finesse. Finesse, is it working? Hi, Finesse. Yes, how you doing? Finally. <laughs> I know. I don't know what my my internet was tripping. I was actually on my laptop, and it wasn't working. So I said, "Let me just use my my iPhone." So, um, but Brittany, I I like your uh, I like I like the name. You, you spell it right. It's, there's no A and I or it's A and Y. It has to be with two T's. So you're right. You're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? Out of time. So I will say this to you. I have um, Melly, I've watched the show quite a few uh. In, quite a few days or quite a few weeks and I thought you're by far Brittany you're the most outgoing down to earth one I would definitely say, definitely I'll definitely say that a lot of other ones I feel like they're like um like uh what you call it on reality shows they looking for uh they looking for the drakes <laughs> they look for somebody like that they got a million followers you know what I'm saying so you you seem like the, the girl next door so I am um, <laughs> Let me get that out the way. Um, Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm from Delaware. Okay. Uh, born and raised. I was born in Texas, raised in Delaware. Um, prior military. Um, 44. Um, I'm currently in law enforcement. I'm a correction officer. Okay. Been doing that for about five years. I uh, was in the military for 15 years. Um I'm just you know one one my favorite sport is basketball so I'm just here to shoot my shot you know I, mean, I was pretty good at it. my my jumper is pretty good so we'll see what happens we'll see what so happens. So who are you going for in the finals? Uh, I was rooting for the Heat. See, I yeah, wanted I Denver to win. I w I really wanted Denver to win. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a Spurs fan, so we yeah. tank we tank this year to get the first pick in the draft, so we're gonna get that French guy, but um. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a basketball. I'm a sports junkie though. I'm my yeah. football team. Football team is the Giants, New York Giants, and um, yeah. So I mean, tell me a little bit about you. Um. Well, my team is of course the Hawks, the Braves, the Falcons, Atlanta United. <laughs> oh wow! So you, you everything okay. Atlanta. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. But yeah, I played basketball. Uh, from the time I was ten until I was twenty-two. Okay. I went to college on a Basketball scholarship. Mm. I you're, a basketball. Baller. you're a baller. Mm -hmm. You're a baller. I used to be. Okay. Okay. How tall be. are you? How tall are you? I'm five eight. Okay. Okay. Not mm -hmm. bad. I'm 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 six two. I say six three on a, on a good day. It depends on how I feel. <laughs> so I'll say six two. I'm six two. Okay. Um, I'm a I'm a runner too though. I run long distance. Really? Yeah, I ran cross country, high school, college. Mm -hmm. Grayson, Grayson, you are a hater because I like finesse. Okay, bring finesse back. Well, hopefully, finesse is gonna stick around and come back. Uh, Grayson. Yeah, yes. Grayson, for what reason? Usually, you got a reason, Grayson. Today, no, not right now. Um, all right, let's see. We got more. We got Rose. Hi, Rose. Hey, how you doing, Brittany? How you doing? Hi, Rose. Hey, Melly. Hi, how y'all doing tonight? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well, enjoying the day off. Okay. I said, I seen that you in Atlanta. I am. That's what's up. You ever been to Texas? I lived in Dallas from 2017 to 2020. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. I'm originally from Memphis, and I've been out here. Somebody said it wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been out here for like 10 years. Okay, what part? I'm in West Texas. El Paso. Okay. Near the border. Mm -hmm. You know what is it? I've never been there, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I was in the military. Um, 
I got out. I started driving trucks. So, you know, just trying to, you know, keep up. What um what branch of the military were you in? US Army. Okay. Mm -hmm. Army Strong. You said say that again? Army Strong. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's the best branch. So what are you looking for in a woman? I'm looking, I'm looking for a woman who knows how to be a uh, good support system. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, they just they have some good qualities in a woman that can hold a man down. They can cook because I'm also very southern, so mm -hmm. that's one of my main things. I don't, I don't know how to cook. You don't? <laughs> YouTube is your best friend, though. I mean, I can learn, but I, I don't cook. I don't know how. It's, ain't nothing wrong with it. I know how to cook, so shit, I can get in the kitchen and help you out. Okay. Or you can just cook for us. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Okay. What you like to eat? Um, I like all kind of, I like Indian food. I like Thai. I like sushi. Um, American soul food. Jamaican. I like a little bit of everything. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. So what kind of activities do you like to get into, you know? Um and before you uh -huh. top golf, stuff like that. I work a lot, so I don't really I literally sleep, work out, go to work. That's about um, it. Yeah, but when I take off, like I just came back from Vegas, so I like to travel and I like to go to the beach. I like I like warm places where if it's hot and they have a beach or a pool, like that's like my, oh my God. Grayson, uh, we know he knows how to cook. <laughs> Grayson, oh my gosh. Where is finesse? Bring finesse back. Wait, there, there is more people before Finesse. We're, we're going to talk to Finesse again if he's okay. still down. We got Brown Isaiah. Hey. hey what, <laughs> what is it? Uh, You look like that girl that was on Instagram where the dude was looking at her Instagram and then panned to her. You know what I'm talking about? And then she started hitting the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, though. You look Thank good, you. though. I ain't going to flex. Yeah. Like, ooh, I was looking at your Instagram. You was over there doing little squats and stuff. Isn't it? Isn't like when you tighten your stuff called like keto or something or what's that called or mm. it's a kegel. kegel? There we go, I right, kegel because I <sighs> you was over there doing kegels and shit. Like I was like, ooh, girl, you looking good, ooh, mm. good, but shit, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm like, what you yeah. do for a profession? Like I can't even get in like that, huh? Pineapples, <laughs> cause what? <laughs> You say, how did you call it? Keto? Keto. It's Kegels. It's a keto, like the diet. <laughs> I oh want a keto diet. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got, um, who is superhero? I'm a superhero. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, we got Philip. Hi, Philip. Hey, how you doing? Oh, okay. Hi, Philip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh, y'all can hear me? Mm hmm <laughs> Why you step back like that? We're waiting on you to get it together. Oh, I was just making sure I was here. I was looking at something else in the meantime. That's my bad. I'm, I'm okay. not distracted. <laughs> so, what are, you, what are you doing over there? Yeah, I just got out the grill, waiting on food to get get cool for you. Okay, what you cooking? I got some chicken and I got some black and salmon that I'm gonna eat for, for tomorrow at the at the gym. Okay, so you yeah, want to put your camera up a little bit? Yeah, I got you. All right, that's a little better. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. All right, my bad. That's better. Thank you. Yeah, I work out. I'm in the army, so I work out seven days a week. Okay, nice. What do you do for a living? Uh, I manage the hookah team at Opium. Oh, yeah. It's a nightclub. Nightclub. Too mm -hmm. old for How long are you going to stay doing that? 
Why people always ask me that? Mm-hmm. It's bigger and better things to do. I know you got other things. I know you got other dreams and stuff. I know working at Opium not your yeah, no be all. It's not. So but up? I mean, I like it for right now. Uh, for right now. Mm-hmm. You like the city you in? I love the city I'm in. Where's that at? Atlanta. Nah, nah, can't do Atlanta no more. Can't do What's Atlanta. wrong with Atlanta? I just moved from there, literally. Just moved from there. Are you from here? Nah, not from there. But the city, the city is where I left. Why? I think I've had to replace all four of my truck windows at least eight times. But I stayed, I stayed downtown, so I stayed right by the bins. It was not the best place to live. Yeah. So where do you live now? I'm stationed in Huntsville, Alabama. Okay. It's a little bit better than Atlanta, but yeah, it has its it has its downsides. Are you really comparing Huntsville to Alabama? I mean, to Atlanta. <laughs> I mean, How are we trying to do that? My alma, I mean, my alma mater is here, so I kind of got some kind of connection here, but oh my, it's all right. Okay, all right. Do you have any kids? Yeah, I got two boys. How old are they? Four and two. You got any kids? I don't. I have a dog. You have a dog? Mm-hmm. What kind of dog you got? He's a tall Yorkie. Tall Yorkie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He has long legs. I got yeah, like how the, the host said, yeah, I got I got two boys, four and two. Yes, I'm very single. Very, very single. Okay. Well, how do you do you co parent well with your child's mother? Oh yeah, we're very colloquial with how we how we co parent. Everything's very professional to this point. It's no mixed signals, no mixed emotions, nothing like that. We handle things as best we can. So y'all get along. Yeah, yeah. I was six though. Yeah. Who ended the relationship? I deployed too much. That that was really her thing. Uh, not being home a lot is, is kind of tough. So I think between 2016 and 2022, I deployed four times. So it's kind of hard to keep a family consistent, especially with young ones involved. It was just a little bit too much for her to handle. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. I've been in close to 14 years now, so I'm almost I'm at the age to retire. So right. I look at the bigger picture versus like the smaller things now, but that's why I got stationed here so I could be with my kids. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay. So the other dude before me was asking, like, what you get into? Can you cook? This, that, and the third. Oh, that's... We can work on that, that, that later. That's cool. That, that's... <laughs> So, Philip, Philip, tell me what is something um, that you bring when you're in a relationship? Consistency, open communication. I'm verbally inept. I can speak for myself. So, communication is the biggest part. We don't have communication. We don't have a solid foundation. One blank. I'm honest, forefront. I'm very supportive, non-judgmental. So, that's really about it. So, what do you, what do you think your your biggest flaw is? Uh, my biggest flaw, I would say not taking the proper time to have a great work-life home balance. I kind of let my career take a little bit of strong head, but now seeing that how important my boys are, it kind of mm-hmm. switched. So, yeah, I was kind of a professional head to start, but that was my biggest problem. Yeah. I'm, I mean, as far as, like, your personality. Uh, personality flaws? Mm-hmm. I'm not really talkative. I would say I'm a quiet person. I'm very observant. I'm not really into too much. So I guess that would be a flaw. I don't really do too much. I've done a lot. As I'm sorry, Philip. Uh, Melly, we love you, but you're not paying attention. <laughs> Someone pineapple before me. Come on. Yo, I can't see everything. I didn't see the pineapple before. He got that glued on jangle facial hair. You guys. <laughs> Wait, so wait, did you like Philip? Philip was okay. He seemed a little boring. Boring. Okay. A little boring. Okay. But he was cool though. He was cool. I don't know. I just had the problem with him when he said he's not judgmental, but he was telling you um 
what you need to do or what what do you want to do after after right. hookah? Because this I is not you guys ask me that. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I just hate when they ask me that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see where we got more. Donald, hi, Donald. Okay, this came out right. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, where are you? Okay, so I'm Rwanda, actually. Oh, oh okay. Is that a pineapple? Okay, no. No, okay. you just say good morning, and it's night here, so that's why I asked. Okay, nice to meet you guys. So, um, do you guys ask me questions, or do I ask you? You can ask. Which one do you prefer? Me. You can go. Go ahead. Okay, so um, I didn't get the part where um, I didn't get to know how tall you are, actually. Five eight. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not bad. Um, I'm six three. Um, I'm a designer. I do motion graphics, 3D animations, and voiceovers. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what do you enjoy doing? Um, I enjoy working out, traveling. Uh, okay. I don't. I work a lot, so I don't have too much fun, you know, during the week. I have to actually plan my fun, like plan my vacations and things like that. But on a day to day, I, I like working out. That's kind of like my stress reliever. The highlight of my day is, is a good workout. Okay. I, I work out too, but I, I, I don't take it really seriously. I think like I think two times a week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two times a week. Um, I enjoy reading, working out two times a week. Um, I work a lot also. I love, I love designing a lot. Um, I sing, but it's not really for commercial purposes. I do R&B and soft rock. Yeah, so okay. that's basically So you going you to let me hear dog. a little bit? Um, I sound a little bit like Linkin Park. No, sorry, Nickelback, if you know rock artists. So it's kind of weird because I'm a black dude. So, yeah. Let me hear it. So you want to sing right now? Yeah. Um, okay. I'm so high, I can hear heaven. Oh, but heaven, no heaven, don't hear me. And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not going to stand here and wait. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Melly, why are you giving that face? <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Sorry, hold on. Do you have any more questions for me? Sorry. Light. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Doc, that, that was terrible. Yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why was that terrible? Okay, maybe because I'm a little. Okay, fine. What other questions do you have for me? It's morning for you. We know. You might forget it, whatever. Um, okay. I'm, I'm a pineapple, Donald. But I, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the vocals. He tried. <laughs> and then he had the audacity to ask me, why, Mary? I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> Whoa. Don't ask me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's see. We got oh, finesse. Hi, Finesse. I've been patiently waiting. What is going on? What, what, what I get pineapple for? I mean, what's... Come on, Melly. It's that, not that, me. That, if you didn't that, like you, the pineapple, I got to follow the rules. But but she's the guest. But I get it. I get it. You need to push that $19.99 to maybe $39.99. <laughs> I'll make her pay more money. Yeah, man, because they, they... Come on, man. Come on. I think we, we, we had a good vibe going on, and then... Damn. We were. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So what, what I was asking was, you know, tell me a little bit about yourself. That's what I guess that's where we kind of got cut off. Um, I'm from Atlanta. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm 35. I don't have any kids. Okay. Um, I work at a nightclub. Okay. I like to work out. I'm actually a certified personal trainer. Okay. Um, but I just don't have time to train, so I just work out gotcha. myself. Got gotcha. you. I like to travel. I do want kids. You do. Or maybe one. 
depending on when it when it happens. But um, yeah. Let me ask you a question because this might be a deal breaker for you. Uh-oh. It, might yeah, it might be a deal breaker, but I'll put it out there like that. So, what if you met somebody that can't have any more kids? Is that a deal breaker? Um, okay, because if you can't have any more kids, do you not want me to have a child? And I still have a child? I'm asking. How are you going to still have a child? How how, how, how that's going to work? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be like a a, a a Jesus situation. Mary having a, it's gonna be that. I mean, how are we gonna do that? Um, you gonna adopt? No. Uh, okay. So I guess it's a deal breaker then, right? No, she can. Um, what if she has the sperm donor? Mm. But she don't know the guy. We don't know the guy. Yeah, like one of those type of. Situations. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm not going to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying if, if you can't, if a guy can't have any more kids or if he doesn't want any more kids, that, would, a, be, it, that would be a tough conversation. Mm -mm. Uh, well, two like, people didn't want you to talk to him. Essie, uh, Brittany Dentures is mine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is he talking about finesse? I think they're talking about finesse. He's saying that finesse, finesse got dentures? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. But wait, let, I want to hear. So let's say he cannot have kids. Like let's say he did the surgery. <clears throat> what is it? The vasectomy and he can't have mm -hmm. kids anymore. It's what, what you're doing. To, I thought you would be like, yeah, it's a deal breaker because you said you want kids and that was a... I, sure. I do want kids, but I also know that I'm 35 and I know that after a certain age, it's not, you know, mm -hmm. I, I won't have any kids. Like, I, I probably wouldn't have kids after 40. Okay. So it just depends on when I meet him. If I don't have any kids and maybe I'm 38 or 39, maybe I would be okay with him not wanting kids and I'll just say, you know, well, that's fine with me, but um, right now, it's enough. Like right now, I would probably still want to try to have a child. Okay. So it would just depend on the guy, the situation, how old I am, and where I am as far as mm -hmm. my mindset on still having kids. Okay. So, so it's done for finesse, or no? She... I like finesse. But she, finesse talking about he can't have kids, and you're still 35 right now. So he just he just saying that I can make him change his mind. Hey. That, <laughs> I think that's the problem that a lot of women have. You know, we enter stuff we knowing what they said, and we're trying to make them change, and then right. when they change, we're mad. Yeah. Hey, okay. Well, hopefully it, it, it sticks around so you can talk to him. But Elmer, are you here? Yeah, Brittany, what happened to the guy who sang to you the last time you were on the show? Who? Oh, he was good, remember? But can we see your face, though? Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to show me first. <laughs> but I see you, so show me your face. No, he's not showing. He's not. Okay. Hey. Oh, what's up? What's up? Uh -huh. Not she just casually uh, playing the piano, huh? I said, not she just come on like, casually playing the piano. I was just buying the time. I'm over here practicing. You know what I'm saying? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. My voice is a little large though. I was yelling today. Small so pop. You was yelling? Yeah, I was yelling. At who? At work, doing what? Yelling. I'm a recruiter at a tech company, but I was doing. It. Yeah, it get it get messy. So, you know what I mean. <laughs> so where are you playing the piano? Where are you? Oh, I'm at. So I'm at my school. Okay. So my old. <laughs> Grayson, 
Well, I hope Issa sticks around. Yes, Grayson don't want you to be great. Grayson don't want me to talk to nobody. Wait, Bird came back around. Bird, he, he showed me his face, so I, I, I'm the same. Bird. I just wanted to know what happened to the guy who sang the Britney. He was so good. Bird, show us your face, though. No, Melly, you, you sold me out for $20 last time. You pineappled me in five seconds flat and destroyed our relationship. I'm not, I'm not, I was going to advertise on your channel and you sold me out for 20 bucks. We're going to have to have a few business classes here. I sold you out and I do it again. <laughs> Bud is upset. He is angry. Sold me out. Okay. Uh, let's see. We got Greg. Greg, what's up? What's going on, Midler? Nothing much. How are you? How are you feeling? Good. How you feeling? I'm right. I'm right. All right. I, I have to, to talk to you a, after this show. Okay. Do you want to talk to Brittany or no? I I just get, came on to to tell you that. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later then. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> the chat is like, is Greg wearing a bathrobe? <laughs> I was wondering what was around his neck. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, right, let's see. We got uh, Rome. Rome, you're here? You got to go party. Oh. We get up. You go play. Rome, turn on the music. All right, Rome, you're not ready. DJ Smooth, you're here? Hello. Hey. How you? How you doing, Brittany? Hey, Melly. Hi. How y'all doing? My name is yeah. Reg. I'm on YouTube. You know, but shoot, how y'all night going? Pretty good. Can't complain. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw like y'all uh, chat was busting. So I said, let me slide up in here and talk to Brittany real quick. You know. Yeah. So what's up, DJ Smooth? I'm chilling. You know, I'm having fun out here. You know, but more than anything, I was just thinking like I teach men on my YouTube how like to romance women. Mm. So I just want to know this though. Can you do you know how to swim? Yes. Oh, you know how to swim? I say that because like I like to see you in a bathing suit and a bikini. Okay, well, we're gonna you, okay, pineapples. <sighs> he teaches me how to what? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if you want to go to his channel to uh to figure that out. No, I, I don't think so. Not at all. But hey, all right, we got Muggsy. Hello. What's up, Millie? What's up? What's up, Brittany? Hi. Chilling, 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 chilling. Not much. So hey, hey, here's what I want to say, okay? Um, when I come to ATL, I plan on taking you to trapeze. Pineapples. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> He could have stopped playing. So, so for those of you who don't know, Trapeze in Atlanta is a swingers club. So he said that's where he wants to take her. Wow. First date. <laughs> First date. Crazy. Listen, we, got, we got Jay. Jay. Hey. Hey, how you doing, Melly? Good. How are you? How you doing, Brittany? Hi, Jay. Um, Wow, I don't know what happened with the last two dudes. You had a dude that felt like he knew how to romance people, and then you got some guy trying to take you to a swings club. <laughs> um, I actually just wanted to come on this show to uh, ask you a question, Brittany. Uh, I saw a little bit of the show, and you said that people ask you about your job and, like, What's next for you? And that kind of like pisses you off a little bit. Mm, it doesn't piss me off. It's just, it's just a stigma that comes with women who work in the nightlife. Right. But go ahead. What's your question? I guess uh, the only reason why, like, uh, I wanted to bring that to your attention a little bit was like, like I'm 33, and so I've been around the block a little bit, but like I've I've seen women around like 22, 24 end up doing that until they're like 40. Mm -hmm. And so when guys like come up to you and on some like real grown, I want to build a relationship with you, they just want to know your plan. 
Right. right. Like we understand that. Okay, cool. You're doing this right now. You probably make some good money, mm-hmm. but like, where do you see yourself? Like five, six, seven years down the road, do you see yourself still doing the same thing or doing something different? Yeah. Um, so if if I were to ask you, what do you do for a living? And I ask you, so how long are you going to be doing that? I just feel like I'm going to do whatever makes me happy. So regardless of what anybody thinks about what I do for a living or how I make my money, um, I'm, I'm going to do what I want to do. Right, right, right. Of course. Um, but it's like ultimately it's like what's your goal in life? It's mm-hmm. like, do you want to create a family? And like a lot of men, they're like goal oriented. Like a lot of these dudes have been in the army, like 15 plus years, stuff and like mm-hmm. like the the military like mold you to like achieve a certain type of result. Like you're not just working just to work, you're working to accomplish something. Right. And so it's like um you, I'm sure you don't want to do what you're doing for the rest of your life. And me, like, I I just want to be financially stable, you know, like when it comes to like when I'm retired. Right. So that's why a lot of people choose the careers that they choose. Do you do you know what you want for a career? I mean, well, what a lot of people don't know is that I went to college. I graduated. I majored in marketing and I worked in marketing for years before I started working in the club. So I already went that route. So I guess my journey for working in nightlife was backwards because most girls get in when they're like 20 Mm -hmm. and I got in when I was 30. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it's a little backwards for me, but hmm. Okay. Wow. I don't know what happened to him. What'd you say? What happened to him? Uh, he got pineapple by the chat. Oh, okay. The chat say uh, he's lame and annoying. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got D Block is back. Hi, D Block. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Sorry about the lighting, y'all. I just I just came back to see if I could hit you up because I'm um, actually going to Georgia. Um, you know, soon. So, you know. Where are you coming to Georgia? Or where are you, are you coming to? Um, Got a got a business out there, so probably like in the next few weeks, probably four weeks. About that, yeah. And another question: What kind of music you like? Um, I listen to um, huh? Top two, top two genres of music. Oh, I love R and B. I love hip hop. I love gospel. Yeah. Um, I'm new to Afrobeat. But that's like my thing now. Yeah, me too. Like Afrobeats yeah. in the club, it's it's a little different. I like it. Yeah, it's hitting. It's, hitting. it's mm-hmm. hard out here too in New York. Yeah. You know how is it down there? Yep. Afrobeats. Yeah, is it like making oh, its way out there? Like get oh, more yeah. popular? It's huge in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna hit you up. That's all. You know. Okay. When I come out there, you know, we link up. What you gonna you gonna DM me? For sure. I think that's the only way, right? I mean, I can't say my number over. <laughs> I'm a DM you. I'm, I'm, um, you'll see Damien. Okay. All right. Melly, love yes. your show. I don't usually come on here at all, but had to this time. Thank you for coming. Yeah, peace. Bye. Bye. Did you like him? We're going to see. I'll, I'll give him a chance. He was, he was cool. He's cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's see. We got we got more. We got Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Hey, Melly. Um, Brittany, what's up? How you doing? Hi. Hi. How you doing? Yo, I just wanted to come on here real quick because I was listening to you about what you do with the hookah and all that, and I just wanted mm-hmm. to say that once you're happy in life, that's all that matters, despite what anybody says. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I just want to applaud you for standing up and saying that you're happy and that's all that matters. Yeah, you know? well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So how you like living in Atlanta? I love it here. You love it? Yeah, it's the, it's the best okay. city in the world. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? from? Um, I'm from... Uh, Upstate New York. 
Yeah, I'm from upstate New York. You know. Okay. So, um, what else? What, what, when you go to the gym, right? You say you like working out. Um, how often you work out? Mm -hmm. Like three, four times a week. Oh, three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. That's good. You know, I, I used to work out a lot, but I just not so much these days. Wow. Um, you work too much? Huh? You work too much? Or why don't yeah. you work out? Yeah, I work too much. Work okay. as, um, huh? I, I think I'm going to pineapples, but I appreciate you. No? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, we got Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello, hello, uh, Melly and Brittany. How you doing, Brittany? Hi, Chris. I'm definitely like I'm. You know what? I'm liking your look, and I, you know, I come equipped with a nice physique myself. I work out every oh, okay. day daily. Do you? I'm in the process. I'm in the process of losing forty pounds. You know, but uh, you know, I, I got a lot of got a lot of goals. You know, hey, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely appreciating your look. You definitely look like uh, the type of lady I can pull close and do a little slow dance with. You know. <laughs> oh my Where you at? I'm in Atlanta. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you know, listen. Um, if you uh, if you're interested, I'll, I'll go on your DM. If if not, that's cool. You know, uh, I don't want to be on here too long. Okay, Chris. I'm a I'm a pineapples, but I appreciate you. Okay, <laughs> y'all <Yali. laughs> Don't do that, because Chris was nice. Y'all leave Chris alone. <laughs> Y'all. You know what? Chris has some nice teeth. Mm -hmm. He has some nice teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got we got more. We got um, huh? Hello, you talk or no? So what you say? You don't talk. And why you don't say pineapple? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to understand what's going on. Like, There's nothing going on. It's just pure madness. Like, That's what, 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 are, what are they doing? I don't get it. I don't know. We got Igno. Hi, Igno. Hey, hey, good evening. How you doing? Can you see me well? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, Brittany, what's up? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. For sure. I, I know this is a lot of hard work, right? You know. Talking to person after person. I appreciate you hanging in there. It's hard. It's a struggle. <laughs> it, it is hard, right? I, I've been trying to do social media too. So I've been I've been socializing and that shit crazy, right? What do you mean? <sighs> I'm on an app and it's like, you know, people act different online and shit. So it's like online everybody's a character, so to speak. So yeah. me, I, I don't do character so well. So you know, I, I'd be stressing out sometimes. I'd be trying to do educational content. Okay. About what? Like philosophy. I, I mostly try to converse on why people are the way they are, why they see the world the way they do, and why we can't, like, have more love and respect for one another. It's stuff like that. That is generally speaking. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, used to, I used to meditate a lot. So that, that's kind of like what I'm interested in, you know? Mm-hmm. How about you? What are what are you interested in besides what you've already? I I was just about to pineapple him, Puffy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Puffy Vega said uh, said nothing, but being uh, he said no, ignore. You're not talking. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Dre. Dre, you got light. Why are you be coming in the dark like this? No, nah, I'm sorry about that. I just got done driving. I'm a truck driver, so we don't have too much light in the truck. Uh -huh. Say what? We can't see you. We can't decide. Nah, you got you gotta do this in the daytime then. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to do it just for you. <laughs> yeah, but I was just watching your 100 episode and I said, damn, how you get on this shit? So I say, let me try and figure it out. Then, you know, it's my first time coming on here. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, I'm have not really. Say what? I said, next time have a light so we can oh, I'm see. I'm sorry you. about that. All right, Dre. Yeah. Have a good one. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh Bingo the Bull, are you here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. What up, Melly? What's up, Melly? What's hey, up? What up? Yo, what's, what's up? What's up? Hello there. Hey Brennan, you just moved out to you just how long you been to ATL for? <laughs> Bingo, you stop yelling. <laughs> what's up, y'all? Hey. Stop yelling. My bad. Take that, take that ski mask off. Don't don't come on this chat with that ski mask on again. My bad. Hey, so what you doing? So you so you be you being LT and ATL turning up? That's what you're doing? You making money out there? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna make money out here. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Anyway, I was gonna ask you where where do SpongeBob live? Tell me. Tell me where SpongeBob live, please. <laughs> No. Buffy Vegas said no. It's hey, you told him stop yelling. And he went back in yelling. <laughs> like, what is going on? What is going on with people? Why are they like this? I don't know. I don't it. We got uh, Isa. Isa is back. Hi, Isa. Man. Yeah. I'm good. What happened though? I think I think somebody pineapple you. I don't think it was me. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping it wasn't. Yeah, nah, I'm kick, I'm kicking it, man, you know. But now nah, I was just saying, um I don't even remember now, but anyway. Uh <laughs> um, Let me hear you play something on the piano. You said what? Let me hear you play something. I wanna hear you all right. Yeah. Yeah, something. How long have you been playing? How long? How long have you been playing the piano? Uh, 10 years. Okay. Yeah, 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 10 years. My real flex is the trumpet, though, but um, I wasn't going to do all that. You know? mm. <laughs> I played clarinet when I was younger. Yeah. For a couple years, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I, I'm, I'll be in Atlanta. I, actually, my cousin, who's a piano player, she'd be out in Atlanta, so I'll be out there a lot doing my thing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Boston right now. But, so you live in Boston? Yes, ma'am. I live in Boston. Okay. You know, how's everything though? Um, I'm great. I'm just on here looking for a man, trying to weed out the weirdos. Yeah, there's a lot going on right there. <laughs> but yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to um pineapples you, okay? But I appreciate your your music. Why? Why did you pineapple him? Mm, boring. Boring. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wait, so two things. Somebody said in the chat that I have paid actors on this show <laughs> to come and act up. I'm like, no, guys, it's just the link is there for everyone. <laughs> so I think every, everybody who wants to come can. And uh, Puffy Vegas um, blessed me with that 50, asking if he can come in, come up and talk. Of course you can. The link is in the description of the video. Just come. Come, sir. All right, I, I, we're trying. I, I'm, I'm, I apologize. Uh, I apologize. We got Tim on the. Okay, can you do me a favor? I need to use the restroom. Can I put you with somebody that I think is a regular guy? Okay. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Tim. Hey, hey. Can you can you hear me? Okay. I can. 
All right, she has to go to the restroom, but this is only like my <clears throat> second time in a couple of years, so it's, I'm not like a regular. <laughs> okay. So I had to jump off and jump back on, and I um, understand you live in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You met somebody before from Chicago. I did. Don't hold it against us. I'm from Chicago. I, I like I like uh I like people from Chicago. Okay. Now I'm a little older. I understand you had a, a age range, but yeah. I'm a grown man though. What's what's grown man? You got to tell me. Okay. But I, I try not to look my age. I try to, you know, work out, take care of myself. Mm-hmm. Things like that. Yeah. So um, I hit you up in your DMs on Instagram because I didn't think I can get on because I had a couple of things going on this evening. So mm -hmm. if you get a chance, you could check it out. And um, I don't want to take up your time if you, you know. Let me see. I don't know if I see it. You got that many, huh? No, I just don't. I don't see anything. Undercover Q. Oh, you're a Q dog? All day, every day, twice on Sundays. <laughs> Undercover Q. Let's see. Is are there any underscores in here? Nope. I don't see it. Oh wow. I have to try that again. You are Brit, right? Yes. Yeah. I'll do it again. Um, but yeah. yeah. How you doing, Melly? I'm great. How are you? Um, I'm wonderful. Wonderful. Um, are you B underscore Ren? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'll try that one more time for you. Okay. But um, yeah, ladies, both of you all look fabulous tonight. Thank um, you. Like I said, I, I'm from Chicago and I'm a little older, but I am six feet. Apples. <laughs> Thank you to you for the five dollars. Tyler Perry trying out a new character on Melly Show. I'm done. Done. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not Tyler Perry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. He's a little too too old. Too old. How old was he? Fifty four. Oh yeah. Well, let's see. She we got. I, I, that's what I think. Oh shit! She... Yes, you're on. What's up, La, uh, La Omar? Uh, no, you don't want to talk. Okay. Why you guys be clicking that fucking link if you don't want to talk? Oh my goodness. Mm mm. Hi, Royal. What's going on? No shirt. No shirt. Nah, I just came out. I just came from the gym. I took my my sweaty clothes off. Okay. Are you naked? No, 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 no. I got shorts on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I just, I just came in here, and um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what's, what is it that uh, we're, we're looking for here. What are you looking for? I mean, I really don't even know. You're looking for a girlfriend. You're looking for a pussy. You're looking for a company. What, what you looking for? Friend, pussy, company. <laughs> Royal pineapples. <laughs> He's a hot mess. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm just here. I'm just here. Tell me what you got to offer. Wow. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> let's see. Okay. Finesse. Finesse. Let's go. What's up? Okay. So, so we're gonna get straight to the point because I'm not trying to get pineapple again. Listen. Put can you put your uh I'm gonna go ahead and, and I'm gonna DM you. I'm gonna DM you my number. We're gonna do that because this is not this is not working. Obviously, we have a vibe and someone is hating on our vibe. So you're right. Okay. So uh Melly, can you put the uh her, her IG on there? Cause yeah, I'm about yeah. to I know I'm about to pay twenty dollars and, and and hit us again, and then I gotta wait another hour. I'm a patient <laughs> man. I'm a patient man. Right here. B underscore R E Y N. All right, I'm a uh I'm a DM you. And it's finesse. It's finesse underscore zero four two eight. So I'm gonna do that right now. So okay. All right. Okay. 
I well, did talk you, you, you huh? want to talk or no? I mean, I mean, I do, but I just feel like they haven't find out for yet, so you can still talk a little bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, we we gonna talk. I know we are gonna talk, right? Right, yeah. we gonna talk. We gonna talk. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. cool. I'm, right, I'm, thank I'm, you, Finn. All right. Bye. Bye. Talk. Oops. Sorry. Yes. Talk to you soon, Brittany. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. We got Puffy Vegas is in the building. Hello, sir. How you doing? Good. How, How you doing? are you? I, I, you know, I, you roasted me like it was no tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. Who did that? You me? did that. Yes, yeah, sure. you roasted me, sweetie, but that's okay. How did I roast you? I, I, I listen. I, I don't take nothing. I don't take nothing offensive. I don't take nothing offensive. Okay, so, so would you like to talk to Brittany? Hannibal's puppy. Damn, puppy. Um. Sorry, I mean, the internet is pretty bad. Feel then. Oh, hello. Beautiful. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm not bad. Um, I'm going to turn on the light. I didn't know how that I would get it so quick. Yeah, so um, I see that Reynolds, you know, not really gonna shoot any shot tonight because Ronald, I have a sister that goes by the same name. What's her name? Brittany, yeah. Who? Oh. Reynolds. Yeah, I think. Mm. No, no, Reynolds are a really nice person. I, I couldn't understand what you were saying. I'm saying that um, Reynolds, your surname. I have a sister goes that goes by that name as well. Oh, okay. So, um, if I was interested, I could, but I um, I didn't know that I would get you so quick to the show because uh, now I'm only in the back at the backstage and I'll take long before I get you. Okay, well now you got me. So what's up? Um, maybe you said something about age. So is it a case that? You you are looking for someone with a specific age. What is the age range? I think you said he was too old. Yeah, within the age range. How old are you? I'm twenty eight. Now you know you below the, the age I said. Hmm? <laughs> Pineapples. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's see. 30, 30 to 30, 45. 45, yep. Yeah. Uh, Adi Radu, hello. Hello, hello. Brittany, all my respect for your patience. Oh, you're incredibly you. patient, very graceful, very beautiful, very intelligent, and very wise. And Melly, you have incredible patience with some Muppet show tonight. <laughs> but I want to give you a gift because, well, I don't qualify, I'm a little older than 45, but I saw you like Afrobeats, you said. You also like beach and whatever. Mary, you should go together with her because now you're friends for more than one year and take chips and Brenda, go to Afro Nation in <laughs> Portugal and the end of this month. You're gonna have an ex extraordinary experience. I was there last year. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. So there you can meet, you can actually meet the African diaspora like second gen generation of Africans or whatever people from other parts of. Mm -mm. Sorry, a Adrian. Uh, the African got said no. Black love only. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. We got more, we got more for you. And we're trying everything. Hello. Hey, how's it going, guys? Hi. What's going on, Brittany? Okay, okay. Where are you from? Atlanta. Oh, I, I know some people's over there. I used to for a little minute. You used to what? I used to live over there for a minute for like six years. Where do you live now? 
I live in New York now. Where are everybody from New York today? Oh, you found a lot of people in New York? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm a little, I'm like a hybrid. So I got Atlanta and New York in me. So I'm like, like, so I, I, I got this like unique place created that I'm really from. Mm -hmm. Atlanta mixed with New York. Um, so question for you, like what, what's really important for you? In regards to what? Like I, you find a person that you like, all right? Like what, what is the important end goal for you? Pineapples. No. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Walk away. Yo, what's on with you? What's up? Not much. Not much. How are you? You want to talk? I said hello. Hey. Well, hi. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I. I, I don't know what that was. Y'all good though. Pineapples. Yep. Tyrone. Hey. Hey. Hey, y'all hating on old man. Tyrone. I'm 61. I'm 61. And I'm <laughs> in the game, all right? <laughs> Tyrone, I don't have a job. I retired. Military. They're both beautiful. I just wanted to say hi. Hi, Tyrone. Wait, Tyrone, are you a sugar daddy? Uh, <laughs> you a I sugar daddy? Be. That's what they call me. Who is they? Them. Them. You got some. You, you got sugar babies. You know, this is kind of like a joke. You get it? <laughs> I just, I just y'all hate on old man so much. So uh, I just had to throw that that in there. I'm not, you know, really old man at heart. I'm just. I bought a puppy, right? Okay. I have a question for you. When is your birthday? It's May 3rd. May 3rd, you're a tourist. My mother and my girlfriend from a long time ago were born on the 2nd of May. My father was born on the 9th of May. Uh, I got married on the 10th of May. I got divorced and I don't remember that. That was in 2008. <laughs> so I'm, I'm here in uh, Texas. And I really don't like it. I'm in San Antonio. You know black people out here. And I was in Atlanta this summer. All right, Tyrone. We're going to let you tend to your dog. Okay? <laughs> His shirt was hilarious when he came on. Yo, why did somebody say he's just an older stud? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are ruthless, ruthless, okay? Ruthless. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, Jay? What's up? Hi. See, I got my lights now. Where? Oh, okay. I can't see you. I know, right? You still can't see me? It's, it's, it's still dark. Damn. This is the best I could do. Oh. Uh -oh. Pineapples. Yeah. All right. We can't see you. Wow. Uh, I know. Junior, you're here? Or oh, JR? I don't know. Mr. Torres? No? Okay. Ignore, you still, you're here? Yeah, it's like I'm psychic. I had a feeling you were going to put me on right now. That's crazy. Hi. Okay. So, um, I don't know why you pineappled me. If you don't mind, could I ask? I'm just curious. Oh, I'm not I'm upset. I'm just I didn't curious. know she pineappled you. I thought it was the chat. Oh, she, the chat did, but then she said she was going to anyway. So I just oh, wanted to know why. I don't remember, honestly. Okay. Cool, cool. So um, I was asking you before, what do you like doing besides what you've mentioned already? Um, like besides working out and traveling? Yeah. I'm sure that's not all you do. You have to stay home sometime. Um, when I'm home, I sleep. You sleep. 
Cool. Because you're working all the time, right? Yeah. Do you have any roommates? No. Do you think you should adopt a dog or a cat or something? Maybe for company? I have a dog. Oh, you do? That's cool. Mm -hmm. What kind of dog? He's a tall Yorkie. Tall Yorkie. Yeah. Cool. I hope I hope I'm not sapping your energy or anything like that. I'm not trying to take from you. I'm trying to give to you and everything. But uh, no, yeah, I had a bug. I, I don't, know. I don't okay. remember when I pineapple you and why I did it. So I was being. Oh, okay. No, not yet. I'm coming. You at work? You finna get in trouble? No, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm good. With you. So um, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, apologize about that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing something. <laughs> like, you're at work. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're trying. Ryan. We haven't talked to Ryan. Hello. Hello, hello, Brittany. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I just joined in. I'm just wondering, Brittany, uh, do you have any kids right now? No. Are you looking for kids? <laughs> looking so, for kids. like like looking to have like a family in the future yes okay i just joined in. if you don't mind me asking how old are you 35 okay okay solid and in a in a home are you looking to like do you do you work right now you probably work right now uh-huh okay are you looking like to, to have a family you're looking to be a stay-at-home mom 50 50 <sighs> Um, I, I don't think I'm looking for a sit a certain situation. Well, like what situation number for like I'll give you an example. Um for my family, what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to kind of provide full time and have like a stay at home mom. Uh of course, you know, the finances are in check, so I'm able to do that. And that some some won't prefer, you know, uh I go work fifty fifty, this and that, you know, that's yeah. kinda what I'm looking for. Um I like I like making my own money, so I would probably want to work. You'd want to work, mm -hmm. and you want to do the chores fifty fifty, and like you know everything fifty fifty, or you draw on the mat to kind of take control of the relationship. Um, what do you mean take control? Like over the finances? Yeah, the financing and everything like that. I mean, like I said, I like making my own money. I don't I don't want to be in a situation where I'm giving. I, I guess some people, that's like their dream to not work and have a man take care of them. That's not really mm. a dream of mine. Okay, okay. Like and, I'm working. and being, I think you said what, like, you said 34, 33? Five. 35, okay, sorry. You know, and if I may ask, you know, why don't you think, you know, you've settled down, you know, yet? You know, is that you haven't found the right man? Have you seen the options on this damn live? Have you seen the options? <laughs> Well, Have you to, seen the options? But on this live, I'm being funny, but yeah. But no, but like in real life too. And I think I can because I think there's a lot of great, great guy. I have a lot of great friends, married this and that. You know, some some good guys. Were you kind of focused in work and stuff? Um, I, I do work a lot, so that does. Um, and I don't, I don't go on a lot of dates either. You don't go on too much dates. Mm -mm. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, no, there's this a lot of guys here. So, so what are you looking for in a man then? Um, all right, what is Mog talking about, bro? Women be bugging sometimes, but tonight you dudes are weird. We're the rest of the regular niggas. Okay, hey, so so they agree with you? Yeah, like we they're not here tonight. I mean, we got we got two. I think we got finesse and a D block. Yeah, that's it for now. Mm -hmm. I'll tr I try a couple a, a couple more, and then I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> yam, hi Yam. Hey, hey, how y'all doing tonight? Good. Hi, I can't you? see you. I'm sorry. Say that again. I can't see you. Uh, can't. Yeah. Can y'all see me? Where where are you? Alpharetta. I mean, like <laughs> no. in the closet, in the car. Definitely not in the closet, nor the car. I'm outside. I'm sitting in front of the fire. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see it. 
Yeah. Can you see me? Like, like can you see my face? I really can't see you. It's, it's dark, but hold on. Uh, <laughs> shit. Hold on. I'll, I'll call back in, in a second. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good train. Days more. A one day one. Hello. Hey, what's up with you? Hi. What's going on? Hey, Brittany. Would you be upset if I dunked on you? Boy, you're not, you're not ducking on me. Hold on one second. You say I'm not going to dunk on you? No. I play basketball too now. You played. We're playing? <laughs> played. ED. Past tense. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay. That's what's up. So... Would you be willing to relocate, let's say, in Atlanta, if you met a guy that would suit you? Relocate where? Like, I know you got a lot going on right now with your business and all. So I know relocating for you would probably be different, right? If you met a guy out of state. Yeah, um, I don't think I'm going to relocate. You say you wouldn't do it? Mm-mm. No, that's what I'm saying. Would you read if you got if a guy was to move down there to you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Because see, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable moving into a place like a woman's place. Like, I'm looking for somebody I can build something with, you know, a woman that's genuine and uh, something we can grow something. So I would like to start fresh. So, what are you trying to say? Huh? I said, what are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is like, how open are you to availing yourself to a man that suits you? To what? Availing. Available for a man. Like, if you met a man that you like, right? Yeah. But he don't stay in Atlanta or Georgia. Yeah. And so, y'all at the place to where y'all want to hook up. Mm-hmm. Like, how would you make that feasible for the both of you? Um, I honestly, I don't want to relocate. I right. To, I've done it before and I don't want to. So, I mean, he can, he can I move here. Yeah. I mean, I'm straight up with mine. You know what I'm saying? I got my own everything. And so it's like, if I met a woman out of state, if she wouldn't be willing to move with me, you know, and we at that point to where it's like, we dated, we talked. You done all that, and it's like okay, I want to be physically closer to you. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes it'd be a problem if you in Atlanta and I'm where I'm at. You know, it's like, how would you close that gap? You know what I mean? Why I gotta close the gap? Why you can't close the gap? I'm saying I could close the gap, but I'm saying if I came to Atlanta with you and we there, right? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, how are we gonna start afresh with us together? You know what I mean? I would want to find a place that we both can come into and, you know, go from there. So you want me to move out of my place and then we move into a place together? Yeah. Absolutely not. Not? Mm-mm. So you would be comfortable with another guy that you met moving into your actual place? Absolutely not. You know, but Brittany, so Brittany, but I'm asking- I think we're not understanding each other. So okay. he's telling you he's willing to move to Atlanta. Mm-hmm. But once he gets to Atlanta, he wants to get a new spot for the two of you. But you say right. absolutely not. You're saying no to that? Yeah. But then you're saying no to him moving in with you too. Right. So what's the only solution? Just him getting a new <laughs> apartment for himself? Yeah. That's it. Okay. So you're saying if you like me and I like you, right? Yeah. And I came down there to see you. Mm-hmm. And I'm willing to be with you. Real deal. I'm going to have to have my own place and you're going to have to have yours separately. Yeah. But, well, okay, how long How long we got to do that dance? I just I just like my space. And it, it would depend on, mm, yeah, I, I'd like my space. Oh, so okay. After you guys, okay, he moves, he got his place, you got your place. It's been, I don't know, two years. Uh, he left. Yeah. It's, I didn't do that. <laughs> it's been two years. 
you don't want to move in with him or move into a new place or whatever you guys decide. You always want to have your own spot. Um, uh, I, I the way I feel right now, yeah, like I don't want to. Yeah, like I you don't want to live with a man, pretty mm -hmm. much. Wow. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. Hey, yeah. that that's I. We don't hear that often. I just know. I just rather have my place. You can come over here. I can come to your place. Even if we're at each other's places all the time, I just always, unless I'm married, I just want to have my own space. Oh, so if you're married, then you guys move in together. Yeah. Or if, or if that's somebody that I'm looking to marry, if it's that serious, then mm -hmm. yeah. But if it's just a guy that I'm dating and I like him and we're together, mm -hmm. I, we're not going to live together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you clarified the when we're married or whatever, because I was like, yo, so never in the same house? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure. All right, yeah. wait. Uh, Yam got some light for us. Hey, Yam. Yeah. What's okay, up with you? How you doing mm -hmm. tonight? I'm good. How are you? The normal guys is back. Oh, we appreciate we appreciate all the normal guys on I'm the live today. I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm, I'm odd. You know, you got to be number one to be odd. You feel me? <laughs> so I, said, I, I said that backwards. You supposed to be. You got to be odd to be number one. That's all I meant to say. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But uh, so have you? So how was it like? Because I was just heard what you were just talking about with, uh, with old school. Um, so what was your experience like like living with a man before? I, I've never lived with a man. You never lived with one? No. Okay. Why is that? <clears throat> For what? How old are you? 35. Okay. Have you never lived with a man ever? I feel it. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know what. At what point do people decide they want to move in together, and they're not married? I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little old school in that department, but I don't want to live with a guy that I'm not married to or engaged to. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't know. I, my experience has been different. I, I guess I, I did all that before. So. How old are you? Thirty. So you lived with a woman before? For sure. Or how long? Uh, I mean, it's been multiple, but I think the longest was a year and a half, maybe two. And what happened? Um, just disagreements. So usually on where we're trying to go. Goals didn't align. People didn't want to. You know, it's different things that happen. It's, it's let, let me just say, it was them and me sometimes. How about that? Okay, so my thing is, when y'all break up and y'all live together, then it's like one person has to move out, and that's too much. If you have your own place, it's just like you don't have to worry about that. I feel it, but you don't really know somebody until you live with them, though. That's true. Like you see the intimate details of people when you live with them. But I mean, I can still have my own place and I can stay at your place for a month if I want to. I can stay at your place every day if I want to. No, you can't do that. You Why? gotta go back. You just say you live with somebody for two years. So even though I have my own place, I, I can it. still be around you and with you every single day. I mean, that's like a that's damn near like a conflict of interest. How you gonna be around me every day and you, you know what I'm saying, you at your spot, then when you want to, you just gonna go ahead and just just dip off and go. Yeah. No, I mean, go, just go take a time out. You can go, go, go walk in the park somewhere. Just come back. Go in the room. Go in the basement. <laughs> take some time. You'll be all right. You don't think that's kind of like, okay, so Mel, have you ever lived with the guy? Mm-hmm. How was it? And it was cool until uh, I got kicked out. <laughs> See? I got kicked out. That's, uh, I don't want no man kicking me out. Wait, but hold on. Putting all my stuff outside. But see, look, and I'm not saying this in male case. I'm just saying, like, when some women in general, they, like, they use that shit as leverage. 
So they know they're going to go kick him out. So they be doing wild shit sometimes. So I don't know Melly case, but I'm just saying in general, females, y'all be using that shit as leverage sometimes. Y'all be doing some wild shit, get the sand some wild shit, doing some wild shit. So that's, do you have a temper? What's your, what's the worst trait about you? Oh, I have a temper. That's, okay. that's, that's my worst. So like when you get mad, what's the worst thing you have done when you got mad though? I'm not doing it. Um. <laughs> oh, okay, that wine so, kicking in. Oh, yes, Lord. I. I'll be honest. I'm just give you. Please one do. Um, my ex. I found out he was cheating on me again. It was like he was a habitual cheater, and I took his. I was at his house. I took his toothbrush and I scrubbed the toilet and I put it back. And then I took his mouthwash and I spit in it and I shook it up. Oh, that's not too bad. I just wanted to do <laughs> my middle name was red flag. No, he was cheating. And I just wanted I didn't want to fight him because we were in a abusive relationship and I didn't want to fight him so that was just my way of doing something to make me feel better to I guess <laughs> to get back at him yeah get back at him I feel it yeah okay so not you too bad, right so you're not a super you're not a, a front frontal confrontation person you like a little slick I'm gonna do something on the back end. I heard you type. No, it was only because we it was an abusive relationship. So any type of arguing, going back and forth, could lead to a fight, and I didn't want to do that. So that's why I was a passive that time. All right, so I got one more question, then you can ask mm-hmm. whatever you want. So did you kiss him after he you put the <laughs> toilet brush in the? No, I we I broke up with him after that. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was about to say, hey, I feel it. Yeah. Okay. I, f- I mean, you know, that's not. A- I mean, it's not slashing tires, right? That's hey. way worse than. I, I don't know what's worse. I got bacterial mouth now. I got shit mouth now. Like, you fuck me up. I can go pay some new tires. I got dookie mouth. Like, damn, that's, that's fucked up. <sighs> Well, I mean, he that's what he deserved at the time. Or or he, he didn't deserve a good, hey, this is over. I found out, you know. No, he, so, he deserved the toothbrush in the toilet. I feel it. So did you move? Uh, did you move? Uh, no, no, y'all didn't stay together. I'm thinking mm-hmm. about my house situation. Okay. Okay. I feel yeah. it. That's not bad. You look, you look kind of tall, though. You who? I did. Okay. Mm-hmm. How tall are you? Five eight. Okay. Be nice. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, I know y'all have some stories where your man cheated and you did something crazy. And that was my crazy. Let me see. I don't think I ever did nothing crazy. I've always been perfect. Mm. Yeah. I ain't never did nothing crazy. I always you know what? I always get females like you, the crazy. I get crazy chicks for some reason. What do you mean females like me? Man, I get the ones that just, you you be chilling all the time and shit. All right, I got pineapple by the chat. <laughs> DJ still with the 20. I'm sliding to the A. Still got it on the gram. Opium turn up. Let's get it. Okay. Do you know DJ still? I, I don't know DJ no. Steve. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so so th- so that's what you do. So why you you felt like you needed revenge in some way? Yeah, I, I don't even think that was good enough. That was just what I thought of in the moment. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it should have been way worse. I don't believe in revenge, so. I believe in leaving you alone and never talk to you again. Now, see, I've learned that. See, this was when I was, what? I was 28. 
<laughs> That's still grown. <laughs> yeah, but I learned from that situation. So now I don't really, like, I would never continue to stay with somebody who put their hands on me. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so I was a little messed up in the head. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, I'll give you two more that we haven't talked to, and I'll let you go. Okay. Okay, two more. I am Kalara. Ka Hello. Hello, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. I see the, you know, most of the guys, you can't see them, so I got my light right. I see you got your light shining right here. <laughs> but yeah, but well, you know you're from Atlanta. You're a former athlete. Okay, I got a sister in Atlanta. Big sister. A sister? Yeah. Okay. Your sound is really low. Can you? I don't know what you need to do. Let's see. I don't know. Yes, that's good. That's, that's good. Yeah, I'm in Chicago. Okay. Shot So, how old are you? I'm 34. I'm about to turn 35 in July. Okay. So, you're a cancer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You know, a lot of people, they think we emotional, but Y'all are very emotional. But very. I'm, I'm empathetic, though. So <laughs> I'm not going to do to you what I don't want done to me. See what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to treat you. Y'all are very sensitive. Like, every male cancer that I know, y'all are, like, really sensitive. Yeah. What do you do to them? I mean, what are you doing to them? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Oh, I, I'm a cab driver, so just let y'all know. Okay. So I got Honest living, I can get with it. How you doing, Mally? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right, you know, we're gonna we're gonna head out. Well, when the talent show coming back? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Right. I can't hit you in the gym or nothing? Brittany. What'd you say? I can't hit you in the DM. Um, go ahead. We'll, we'll see. Okay. It, it might be your day. <laughs> it just might be your day. All right. Well, thank you. At least he wasn't weird. I appreciate that. Yeah. You got to say pineapple. <gasps> pineapple. Gotta... All right. That's the last one. Last person. Okay. Hello. Oh, my God. What's going on with you, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, doing good. Doing good. How old are yeah. you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> 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 Pineapple. Okay. Yes. So I think that's it. That that's all I'm gonna give you for tonight. <laughs> Why do we have to end like that? I don't I don't understand what's going on. I mean, there there's other people. You wanna end on some something better? I, I wanna end on a good note. All right, I'll give you finesse then. Okay, finesse. Let's end on a great note. Yes, yes. Thank you've been, you. you've been, oh, you've been wasting a lot. We could have been on the phone talking. We could have been FaceTiming. No shot, Melly. I love your show, Melly. We could have been FaceTiming, man. So when you get when you get off when you get when you get off this, we're gonna FaceTime. Okay. All right. So I I sent you my number. All right, so I'll be looking forward to that FaceTime. Wait, is Finesse your real name? Nah, I, I DM it's James. I DM'd okay, you. Thanks. Yeah, I DM'd I'm, you. Like, I'm not calling a grown ass man. Finesse. Nah, 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 nah. So Finesse, let me tell you where Finesse, Finesse comes from. Don't judge me, right? This is the name that they gave me. 
And it was because I'm, I'm in a fraternity. I'm in a military fraternity, and they gave me that name for Ness. I don't like the name, but it is what it is. Okay. So, so it's James. Very simple. Okay. So I'll be looking forward to your uh, FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, you just said yes. What's going on? No, somebody said I was for the streets. <laughs> he said what? He said what? Somebody said I was for the streets. No, you're not. You're Go definitely ahead. not. For, you are definitely not for the streets. Absolutely Thank you. not. Thank you. James. Well, you are for the street from my street. My all street right. from my street. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be looking forward to that FaceTime. All right. Okay. All right. I'll talk Bye, to you. Yes. Hi. Thank you, Mel, because I just needed, you know, something nice to end off the show. The last one that that was good. Yeah. Yes. All right, guys. Well, so we know already finesse, D block, and I think it was somebody else, but we'll see. Yeah. So uh guys, this is uh Britney's IG. So if you guys want to go check her out, you should. If you didn't get a chance to talk to her, go DM her. Hopefully she sees the DM. <laughs> <laughs> What you got to say, Brittany, before we go? I appreciate you for having me. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully I found my man and I can get married. We can have kids. Hopefully. And then you can come and be in the wedding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can be in our wedding. I mean, like, I found him for her. Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Thank and, uh, you. And we'll talk soon then. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. That was Brittany. So if you didn't get a chance to talk to her, this is her IG. Go check it. Out. Go check it out. She got a bunch of pictures, videos. You guys want to see? You should go see now. Now. All right. So, um, what did you guys think about the show? I saw. I saw that you guys liked her, and then eventually she started saying some shit, and it was declining. <laughs> So it's like, <laughs> I'm seeing them for the streets. When she says she don't want to live with the men, you're like, ah, oh, nah. Hey, but then she clarified it. She said she don't want to live with the men until she knows she's going to get married to him. I can, I can fuck with that. Um, all right, what else? What else you got? Uh, somebody said she was trifling. What are you talking about? No, she wasn't. Uh, I, I think a lot of, uh, she, it was a, a rough batch for her tonight. Um, and then you're talking about she can't cook. So why are you so hungry? <laughs> You've been eating before you were with a woman, right? So you can still uh, feed yourself, I think. You guys be so big on that. She showed her modern woman's side. Oh, my God. Uh, she's cool, okay. She was calculated and deviant, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> You guys doing way too much, too much. Uh, what else? She was for the streets, okay. Um, what else you're saying? Great show, thank you. She's a control freak that's stuck in her ways. No, thank you, I'll pass, sir. I'm done. Brit is on the down low. She's just looking for a sperm <laughs> WNB. <laughs> You guys, you guys always be calling somebody gay. Always. You guys love that shit. She seemed cool, yes. Uh, she's tired. I think she was too. She she uh, she hasn't slept, you know. Uh, she needs to cook if she's going to have kids, guys. <laughs> I'm over you. <laughs> 35, no kid. That could she trash? <laughs> No, maybe she's safe. It doesn't mean that could she trash. She's safe. Um, uh, all right, we're done. We're done for today, guys. Okay, so that was Brittany again. So if you guys want to go check her out, I'll put one more time. Somebody say Brittany likes to fight. Hey, don't play with her. <laughs> don't, don't play with her. All right, that's her IG. So guys, go check her out. Uh, what we're doing, so we are doing the Pineapple Show After Dark. I forgot to let you know, but we're going live in uh, 20 minutes. We're going to do the Pineapple Show After Dark with Nye. So if you guys want to go and shoot your shots on Instagram, this is where we'll be on my Instagram, uh, Melly Monaco, in actually 20 minutes. That's where we will be. 
what else? What else we got going on that I need to let you know? Um, next week, I think the show is going to be Monday and Friday, but I will let you know because I'm traveling. So I'll let you know when we're going to have that. And um, that's it. I think that's all we got. That's all. That's all I needed to tell you. I'll talk real quick. I'll say hello to them. The, the thing is full. She left too early. There's more people who want to talk to her. But hey, she, she, she's tired. Uh, let's talk to Yam. Yam, what's up? Yo, yo. Yo, yo. <laughs> hey, she was funny. I fuck with her. Yeah. At least she at least she was thorough. You know, motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers wouldn't have said that. So I fuck with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're gonna hit her up or no? Uh I mean, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. Fuck it, why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we asked you where you at, you're like Alpharetta. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> no. Y'all, I'm thinking like I don't know what y'all asking, you feel me? It's because yeah. you were in the dog, so we were like, where you at? And you're like, Alpharetta. <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm hiding from my girlfriend. Since all you bitch ass niggas wanna oh he's hiding from his girl. Like, but no, nah, what what y'all um I thought y'all got an after dark tonight? Yeah, I'm doing an after dark with a uh, Nye. I don't know if okay. you remember Nye, but yeah, that's gonna be on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> I might mm-hmm. come tonight. I just might. Yeah, but I got a question though. Why you get kicked out though? What you mean you get kicked out? Oh, I, said, why, why, I got kicked yeah, out. Why you got kicked out? Uh, well, he he started looking at my DMs and he didn't like what he saw, and uh, he kicked me out. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. So was you entertaining it though? No, I okay. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. I mean, maybe you will call that entertaining. Okay. I wasn't saying no. Okay. I mean, but was it, I mean, was it business or was it just like motherfuckers just in there from anywhere just seeing anything? I mean, the dude was saying some craziness, but okay. So the dude came and he was, uh, that's when I was uh, doing a lot of music. So he was, uh, mm-hmm, so he was hitting me up as far as like, um, yo, we should do some music together, whatever, whatever. And I was like, yeah, sure. And then he started taking it a little to the route of like being a little nasty talking to me and stuff. And he was like, oh, I can't wait to lick your pussy or whatever. So I responded and I said, well, my pussy trash, you don't want that. (laughs) And I guess that wasn't me saying no. That was me, I guess, entertaining in some way, I think. How? That's that's literally motherfucking saying like. Hey, don't don't talk to me like that. You know, I, I. I made a joke, so he didn't like that. Mm-hmm. So what he what he wanted you to just come out, fuck you, no. That's what he wanted you to say. Pretty much, okay. yeah. So what, would you go back and would you do that? Uh, no, I mean I learned. I I don't okay. think oh, that I deserve to be kicked out, <laughs> but, oh, but I know experience. it's not a good idea. Now I know like I I would be more no. I'm cool. Like don't do that. Don't talk to me like that. You know. Yeah. I feel that. I think we all had those type of times, so I've been in that. You know, sometimes people might make you feel uncomfortable, and you just don't want to shut it down in a mean way, so I used to, you know, find a way to shut it down nicely. Yeah. But uh, it don't work for some people, you know? He didn't so like was, that's kind of funny, because I'm from Chicago, so, like, the women I'm kind of used to is aggressive as fuck. Mm-hmm. So if a, like I'm used to females, like if they don't, if you don't want to talk to them, they damn they get on that with your ass. Mm-hmm. So like, but I had to learn that like females do that, like they do like a soft no and be like, oh yeah, but um, you know, it's too late at night and um, <laughs> the stars aren't out. So I'm like, what the fuck? But mm-hmm. that I had to learn that because I'm I'm like used to motherfuckers being like super aggressive. And that's why it was kind of hard even being out here for a little bit. I had to like, motherfucker, like, bro, why are you so aggressive? I'm like, bro, I'm just chilling. Like, what are you talking about? And yeah. But I had to learn that type of like communication style. So that's crazy. I feel that though. I probably would have been that nigga that did the same thing. I wouldn't have kicked you out. I'd have got on your ass, but I wouldn't have kicked you out. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I think that was a little extreme, but hey, it is what it is. 
Yeah, especially, I mean, and then you got, like, he probably was damn to feeling insecure, too. I don't know what the whole situation. He was already feeling insecure for him to be checking my phone and all that shit, you know? Yeah. No, I wouldn't say that's completely insecurity, though. What is that, then? It depends on the person. Nah, I don't know. Some, my phone, why are you in my phone? Cause it, could, it could depend. Maybe, like... I've been in situations like this. This is what's so funny about it. You can sit here and say, I trust you to death. But mm -hmm. then motherfucker, like, I done had homeboys, all type of people who got killed and shit like that. And they thinking they with somebody that, that they fuck, that, like I'm talking about super fuck with. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you got to, and I'm not saying this, it depends on, if you can stomach it, <laughs> don't look through that bitch. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, if you're looking for, like, all right, I want to make sure this person who they say they is, mm -hmm. then that's different. But if you go in there looking like, oh, this bitch trying, and they're trying to talk to all the niggas, you know what I'm saying? That's different. But if you're trying to verify somebody who they say they is, that's a whole different story. In my, at least in my opinion. Because I've yeah. had, yeah, I've literally had friends who got smacked because a female they was uh, dealing with was dealing with somebody else, and they talking about you know I'm trusting you with all my soul. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I don't know. So, I feel no, it depends. That's all my I just my outlook. I just say it depends on the type of person. But yeah, okay, yeah. So, but yeah, cool. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Anytime. You good have night. a good night. Thank you. You too. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's dark as fuck in here. Uh, <laughs> I believe if you do got to check my phone, there is a problem. You don't trust me. Maybe you're right for not trusting me. I'm going to move real quick. Maybe you are right for not trusting me, but the moment you got to ch check my phone, I feel like you have some type of insecurity. That's how I see it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Sorry, I gave you the, the dark. Let me see what what you guys saying. Okay, insecure. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Mainly for the streets. Well, sorry. I, according to 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 you guys, everybody, every girl I bring on, including me, we are for the streets. So I guess we're we're all whores. I don't know. Uh, Greg wanted to talk real quick. Greg is here. Greg, real quick, because we got to go. Hey, Greg. What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, I was going to say, well, first, well, what's up, Chad? What's up? But do, do you want me to um to say what I have to say in, in the email or on here, on live? It's up to you, Greg. You got three minutes, so it's up to you. Nah, it is up to you because I I don't I don't need you saying oh he he is just saying that because he 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 is t t texting or or something like that. I do not have t t Twitter fingers. <laughs> okay, so so tell me what's happening. Go ahead. Okay, so <clears throat> you 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 remember when when I said I would pay, pay well, I would f fly you out. Fly me out? Yeah. Oh, I didn't remember you say you would fly me out, but <laughs> okay. In that case, never mind. Oh, that's it. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I was I was going to say, well, it, if you have re remembered that, then I I I only said that because I I offered, but at the same time, what well, you are. Right <laughs> one. <laughs> I I mainly said that because I had all offered, but at the same time, 
what you are getting in return if you were to come here. It should should cover that. Okay. What what am I getting in return? Tell me. You are get, getting my, my tongue. <laughs> Greg, I'm saying that that's what that's what you're offering me. I'm saying, but um, you 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 think on that, but I have <laughs> so, so, something else to say, and 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 this is to to check. <laughs> so so to check. I, I I go back and read um most of the things y'all yeah, say um when I come on and for the most part it is good good, good things and I, I like it but I want to make something clear I am. I am not a, a, a gangster per, per se because, well, go, go, going to jail that does not make you a, a gangster. So, staying out of jail is, is a good, good thing, but being able to do what you do and not going to jail is what, is what is what makes you get gangster. So I I could go, go more into death uh, uh, more into death about that, but I say that for for another time. But <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I, like you say, you gave me some time to go think on it, so I'm gonna sleep on it, and I'll keep you uh, posted. <laughs> All right. All right. You have a good night, Greg. You too. I check. Bye. All right, uh, Greg. Uh, Greg. <laughs> wow. Wow. Indeed. Uh, so, guys, we're leaving. We're leaving. I got eight minutes to to go do what what I need to do again. But uh, find me on Instagram. We're going on Instagram. Uh, Melly Monaco. That's the IG. I have Nai, if you guys want to come and shoot your shot at her. I believe she's in uh, Texas. So anybody who is in Texas, you know, uh, pull up. And um, hopefully I see you on the dark side on Instagram. All right. Uh, I appreciate you for being here. A anybody who is uh, commenting. So obviously the chat. Thank you so much. I love my chat. Uh, thank you to anyone who has given any um any super chats tonight thank you so much i appreciate you and uh who is talking about so many you getting thick i wish i wish but no it's not here so bye brenda i see you brenda uh so so yes yeah, so i appreciate you guys and hopefully i see you again on uh, is it monday i think it's gonna be monday the next the next show but i'll keep you posted all right you guys have a good night